hello and welcome to this channel as I'm creating this video the Rafale jets are inching towards the Ambala airbase in North India or whenever you are watching this they may have already arrived this video contains the key aspects about the Indian Air Force Rafale that you must know and what capacities make it a game-changer for the Indian Air Force I would request you to watch the full analysis here so let's start now the first batch of the much awaited Rafale jets which include five aircrafts are about to arrive in India after they took off from the Marignac Air Base in France the first fighter jet was handed over to the Indian Air Force way back in October 2019 in France whereby the Indian Air Force personnel and pilots they are undergoing the training sessions about the technical know-how about this Rafale jets now however India had bought a total of 36 fighter planes or uh, Rafale jets from France or uh, Dassault Aviation to be specific for an estimated cost of around 58,000 crore of rupees through an intergovernmental agreement which signed in 2016 and uh, this particular Rafale jet is a twin engine canard and delta wing multi-role fighter aircraft which is designed and built by the Dassault Aviation and the 10 aircrafts have been delivered to India on schedule as per the statement by the Indian Embassy in France and of these 10 aircrafts, 5 have already left for India and about to arrive. The other 5 will remain in France for the technical missions whereby the pilots and the support personnel for, of the Indian Air Force have been given the complete training about the aircraft and the weapon systems by the Dassault Aviation in France. And the first fight, uh, Rafale uh, fighter jets will reach the Ambala Air Base on the 29th of July and these five uh, fighter jets are a mix of three single-seater versions and two twin-seater versions and they will be inducted to the Indian Air Force after a final induction ceremony that is about to or uh, scheduled to happen somewhere in the second half of the August however the delivery of all the 36 Rafale jets is scheduled by the end of 2021 now the five fighter jets which are about to arrive or may have arrived they will comprise of the resurrected number 17 golden arrow squadron of the Indian Air Force and they will be stationed in the Ambala Air Base in the state of Haryana which is uh, in the northwest part of India and it is very close to the China and Pakistan border and the Golden Arrow Squadron was raised in the year of 1951 and they have been involved in a number of significant operations throughout their history including the Kargil War but after the Air Force started to phase out the MiG uh, 21s which were operated by this particular Golden Arrow Squadron the Golden Arrows were disbanded in the year of 2016 and it has been resurrected now for the multi-role state-of-the-art Rafale jets and this is the Golden Arrow patches as you can see in this however the two strategically important air bases one is in Ambala and other is in Hashimara in the east which is here in the state of West Bengal they will house the first and second squadron of the Rafale respectively and both the bases have been established with a huge infrastructure which is necessary for the Rafale operations now the literary meaning of this Rafale is a gust of wind gust of wind or in a military sense it is also burst of fire so these are the literary meanings of this Rafale and this Rafale is a canard delta wing configuration 
you can see this is the canard and this is the delta wing platform and it is having twin engine these are the twin engines one here and one here and it is a medium multi role combat aircraft it's manufactured by the Dassault aviation now the company claims that the Rafale jet is having omni role capacity or capability to perform several actions at the same time such as firing the air to air missiles or aims at a very low altitude and air to ground missiles or air to ground operations and also interception interception during the same sortie now the technology is a state of the art technology which is a four plus generation now as you may be knowing the fifth generation aircrafts that are comprising of most the stealth aircrafts and the fourth generations aircrafts are like the Sukhoi 30 MKIs and this Rafale will be fitted just between these two generations and this particular aircraft is uh, fitted with the OBOX or the ox onboard oxygen generation system which will suppress the need for the liquid oxygen refilling on the ground or ground support for the oxygen production now it will carry out a range of different missions like the air defense air superiority reconnaissance close air support dynamic targeting air to ground operations like precision strike and interdiction the anti ship attacks or the maritime operation also and nuclear deterrence and body body refueling that means it can also carry out the refueling with another same another rafale jets okay so these are the some some the, the company called this capacity to be a omni role capacity okay now let's see why india needs the rafale now the indian air forces fleet or the fighter fleet has been aging over the time with most of the older mix were quickly becoming obsolete as compared to the latest generation requirements and with the MiG-23 and the MiG-27s phasing out and the MiG-21 is coming to its end of the service life the IAF has projected for, uh, for the requirement of 126 aircraft in 2001 when the strength of the squadrons were down to 39 and a half from 45 and in the year of 2002 IAF initiated a program to procure 126 medium multi-role combat aircraft which will be fourth generation to equip the six squadrons of this by this program the IAF initiated a program called the MMRCA which consisting of six of the modern new age aircrafts like the uh, French Rafale the Eurofighter Typhoon and the F-16 Block 70 of US, FA-18 uh, Super Hornet from US and there's the Swedish Gripen aircraft and at last the Russian MiG-35. These are the six aircrafts which are chosen for the MMRCA program. But in the year of 2012, it is the French company Dassault or the Rafale jet which is eventually selected for the uh, final uh, procurement program and the Rafale is basically categorized as a four and a half generation aircraft for its radar evading characteristics and it will be said to be a game changer for the IAF since most of the aircrafts in its inventory including the uh, Mirage 2000 and the Sukhoi Su-30 MKI are classified as either third or fourth generation fighters and the upgraded version of the Mirage and the Sukhoi 30 can best reach up to the category of fourth generation fighters. Now the LCA Tejas which is uh, also indi indigenously made is considered to be a fourth generation in terms of avionics and technology but it also 
a very small aircraft such as LCA to make a huge difference in the whole IAF's operational fleet. Now, many international aviation manufacturers expressed their concern or interest in the uh, in go Indian government's plan to revamp the IAF's fleet with the multi-role medium combat aircrafts. The IAF conducted technical and the flight evaluations and in the year of 2011 it declared Rafale and the Eurofighter Typhoon to be meeting its criteria. However, it was the Rafale which was declared to be the L1 bidder or the lowest bidder in the year of 2012 and selected as the final winner in the MMRCA program. The contract negotiations begin with the Indian government and the French company and but it uh, remained incomplete even after two years of deliberate negotiations and in 2012 due to the lack of agreement and various terms and the cost related issues it was uh, remaining to be a no deal under the previous UPA government. Technology transfer remaining to be the primary issue of concern between the two sides. Uh, the Dassault Aviation was not willing to take the responsibility of the quality control of production of the 108 aircraft which is scheduled to happen in India specifically in the HAL or the Hindustan Aeronautics Limited. And at last in uh, the year of 2016 it was the current government or the NDA government which finally uh, got uh, success with the company's negotiations and they have selected 36 of the Rafale jets and these jets out of these jets 5 are arriving in this July and the total 36 jet will be uh, arriving by the year of 2021. Now let's see some of the features of the India specific Rafale. Uh, India has managed to negotiate the acquisition of the latest weapon package for the Rafale. Let's see this picture. In this picture, this is the weapon loadout of the Rafale. And out of this weapon loadout, India has chosen some of the latest and the advanced weapons that is needed by India. So let's go back. So here, other than the hammer, which is a last minute addition, it is also the fighter jet Rafale is also armed with the important meteor missile and scalp missiles. It will enhance the airstrike capabilities and air dominance of the IAF. The scalp is a precision long range ground attack cruise missile that can take out targets with extreme accuracy and has a range of about 300 kilometers which is capped by the Missile Technology Control Regime or MTCR which is India is a signatory. Now it is also fitted with the Meteor which is said to be the most advanced and possibly the best in its class and it is said to be a BVR or beyond visual range air to air missile and it can take out the enemy aircraft at a range of 150 kilometers. The Rafale will also have the Mica missiles which can be used both for the visual and the beyond visual range air-to-air -air operations, interceptions and air-to-ground strikes. Now, apart from the missile systems, Rafales are also fitted with some of the various India-specific uh, features such as the Israeli helmet-mounted display or HMDs, towed decoy system to ward off the incoming missile threat, cold engine start capability to operate from the high altitude basis such as in the Eastern Ladakh or other ALGs or advanced landing grounds that are placed in the higher uh, Himalayan regions to counter the adversaries from China and Pakistan. And then there is an electronic warfare suit in which there is a low band jammers, 10 of flight data recording, infrared search and tracking system and the French industrial support for the next 50 years. And Rafale cockpit is also housing some of the most advanced features like the HOTAS or hands-on throttle stick control which is seen here. The cockpit is also having wide angle display like this. And the avionics is supplied by the company Thales which provides necessary data regarding the aircraft control and the firing cues. 
Then there is a camera and an onboard recorder that records the display while the mission is being carried out by the aircraft. Now let's see about the Rafale engines. The Rafale is fitted with two engines which is capable of providing 50 kN of dry thrust and 75 kN of thrust with afterburners on. It is also having the facility of body body refueling. In this picture the body body refueling system is shown whereby one Rafale is being refueled with the help of other Rafale while still in the air. The twin engine fighter jets has a payload fraction with having the maximum take of weight or MTOW around 24.5 ton that is 24,500 kgs of payload it can take or MTOW and its overall empty weight is around 10 tons which is unmatched in any aircraft of the same class. Now in this picture the, uh, the engine is shown here in this uh, particular engine there is some cutting edge technology which is being used and the cutting edge technology includes a single piece bladed compressor disc which is this section of the uh, engine and single crystal turbine blades which is this section as well as some ceramic coatings to enhance the serviceability of the engine. The engines push the Rafale at a speed around 1.8 Mach. For those of you who don't know, Mach is a speed which is compared, which is used to compare the aircraft with the speed of sound. If any aircraft is gaining the speed more than Mach 1, it means that it is gaining supersonic speed or it is flying faster than the speed of sound and the engines provide a range for more than 3700 kilometers with the help of three drop tanks. Now many a time it is said that the Rafale will be a game changer for the IAF. What it means? Now the weapon that the Rafale packs among the other things make the Rafale a fighter which evolved over the time. And most of all the MBDA's Meteor Missile which is this which gives the Rafale edge over any other aircraft in its class. Let's see what is so special about the Meteor. Now this Meteor is having a unique propulsion system which uses which is different from any other traditional rocket motor and it uses solid fuel and variable flow ducted rocket system which is said called as the ramjet engine. This ramjet engine gives the Meteor the ability to throttle its engine during various stages of the flight towards the target. The Meteor has a greater chances of hitting a target at the long ranges than any other air-to-air -air missile which uses a typical rocket motor. And according to the MBD or the uh, company which uh, developed this MB, uh, particular missile, the ramjet motor allows the missile to cruise at a speed over Mach 4 that is uh, 4 times the speed of sound provides the missile with a thrust all the way to target the intercepted aircraft providing the largest no escape zone as is seen here of any other missile in its class. In this picture you can see this particular image shows the no escape zone for any other air to air missile but in this orange one it shows the no escape zone for a meteor missile which is a three times larger than the normal air to air missile or AMRAMS. Now another important feature of this uh, particular meteor missile is its unique communication system. By this what I mean is that it can hit the target more accurately and it can change or it can update the mid course updates to make the corrections to the trajectory of the missile so that the missiles can can be accurately targeted and if the missile has a latest data on a on the location of the particular target the probability of the missile hitting the target is increased much more now the meteor missile can receive the updates not only from the fighter it, it is fired from but it also receives some updates from the third party sources 
like some other friendly aircrafts friendly fighter jets which are in vicinity in the battle zone or some AVAX plane AVAX aircraft which is also assisting in the battle zone or it is it can also be assisted by the land and sea based radars land and sea based radars as well okay so this is especially useful when the missile is chasing a target at the long range now once fired the missiles can depend on this AVAX and the ground based radar which can track the target at a greater ranges than the fighter which from which it is fired so that it's uh, its uh, ability to hit the target at the long, long range increased and it is a kind of fire and forget weapon system for the Rafale. So let's see the other game changing capability of the Rafale that is the scalp missile. Now scalp is nothing but an air launched missile with, with having, which is having some long range deep strike capability of around 560 kilometers of range and it is designed to deal with the pre-planned attacks against the high value targets which is fixed and stationary such as the air defense command and control centers bunkers and the enemy such as ter terrorist hideouts and the best part is that the Rafale fighter jet does not have to enter the enemy air airspace to fire the scalp missile because the scalp missile uses a range of guidance system such as the GPS, inertial navigation system, and the infrared seeker and terrain reference. Scalp has a design that emphasizes low observability that is the stealth characteristics by reducing the exposure of its air intakes. In this particular picture, the Rafales are seen to carry the Scalp missile and the air intakes for the scalp missile is infused in the lower part of the missile thereby increasing or enhancing its low signature or stealth capability and it can fly at a very low altitude or a low level flight to avoid the radar detection a scalp's operational effectiveness is the result of the three key factors number one the high survivability due to its long stand of range and low observability due to its stealth characteristics and sophisticated mission planning system and pinpoint terminal accuracy through its highly accurate seeker and the target recognition system. Now in this picture one can see the Rafales are carrying two of its scalp missiles here and here along with three of the drop tanks here here and here these are the drop tanks T ok and these are the missiles and this particular configuration of Rafale is used for the deep strike missions or long range attack configuration now along with the air launched Brahmos missile which is seen here this skull will be the first deep strike mission for the IAF the other two qualities which gives the Rafale a game changer name is the hammer missile and the Maya missiles. Now, hammer is a short form of highly agile modular munition extended range. It is said to be a medium, medium range air to ground weapons or a missile and this would give the IAF the capability to hit any solid structure such as bunkers or hardened shelter, concrete shelters or in any kind of terrain including the uh, rough mountainous locations such as the eastern Ladakh where a tense standoff is on between India and China. The, hammer are sim the hammers are similar to the Israeli origin SPICE 2000 precision guided bombs which were used in the uh, Balakot air strikes by the IAF Mirage 2000 fighters in the February 2019. Now there is also MICA missiles which can be equipped with this uh, Rafale jet 
and this micro missile is well known to the IAF because it is a, a, a part of the upgrade package for the Mirage 2000 aircraft and this system that is MICA is also unique because it is uh, equipped with active radar system and infrared imaging which makes it deadly in the close quarter combat or dogfights and also in the long beyond visual range fights. Now the MICA missiles are having a nickname of the uh, silent killers as the target has a little time to react before it is destroyed completely. Now uh, here in this picture the Rafales can be seen uh, equipped with the six of hammer missiles three here and three here and this one is the the particular MICA missile ok. So after the missile system let us see about the radar. Now, uh, Rafale offers the AESA radar or active electronically scanned array radar which is developed by the company called THALS and in this picture the, uh, the Rafale is seen to be fitted with the uh, radar in its frontal section here. Compared to radar, other radars of conventional antennas, this radar AESA radar is offering unprecedented levels of situational awareness which can be attended with earlier detection and the tracking of multiple targets at the same time. And with its superior beam agility and enormous computing power, this particular radar is offering outstanding performance which can never be attained any by any mechanically scanning radars. A real this radar is offering real time generation of 3D maps of the uncharted terrain in blind conditions, real time generation of high resolution 2D ground maps for the navigation purpose, detection, identification and designation of land based targets. This particular radar is also fully equipped or fully compatible with the long range meteor air to air missile operation. Apart from the radar it is also fitted with the FSO system which can be seen in this particular picture here and this FSO system it is operating at the optronic wavelength which is immune to radar jamming and it offers covert long range detection, identification, high resolution angular tracking and laser range finding of air, sea and ground based targets. There is also an electronic warfare system called Spectra which is offering the Rafale outstanding survivability against the latest airborne threats and ground threats as well. So this is the dev particular development about the India's or IAF's Rafale. Thank you for watching the video.